Hello there everyone and welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War. Last time we defended the town of Newport and as someone rightly stated, I probably shouldn't have pushed out to that farmhouse as we sort of became encircled there. But more importantly, I probably shouldn't have pushed uh, that one brigade quite far out because that was probably the main crux there. If, if he'd stayed closer to the others, we probably could have pulled back to the town a lot better. Um, the idea though was to uh, be able to hold the enemy further away from the town and then pull back. Um, big. But the reinforcements came pretty darn close to the town so it probably I probably could have set my my companies up my brig my uh, brigades up in the town to start off with. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at the map. So we got first Manassas, which is the one that's left, and this is going to be a big one. I think without further ado, we'll go ahead and start it. There's quite the victory uh, if we uh, manage to succeed here. It was not war; it was murder. Someone said. That it loads so quick, I don't have time to read most of them. Um, last time around, we placed one point... One point in... Recon, but you need the two points in Recon for it actually to start to show up. So, we can't see what the enemy has. Uh, we have a very three uh, cores, one division... 23 brigades, 14,000 soldiers and 20 guns will uh, place my brigade right here um, and I can put everything on the line. So, uh, I I am able to, I think there was someone that said that I should rename one of them and I probably will to some names sort of, of people I know and stuff, possibly to um, add a bit of extra to to behind it, just like I did in in let's see, Mordheim. Yes, we play. I played Mordheim for a bit. Probably none of you have seen it, but I played Mordheim a bit, and I named all the characters after people I know, not the real names, but uh, yeah. Oh wait, oh it it increased when I put in my own men. Hmm, interesting. So. The army details was, was I had before, so the other core is the one we've got Beauregard and then we've got Johnson, Johnston turning up, we've got uh, Jackson is going to turn up, here's my core, which is 4th core, Siegfried Kemper, Campbell, Harland, Jebediah, Longtree is added on to that. And then we got Rossa, which is our supply. We can see, we can go in and see the uh, 27th Virginia will take part, which is my regiment or my, my company in War of Rights is 27th Virginia. So we'll, we'll keep a look out for them. Um, but I think I probably should rename one of mine to 27th Virginia. It's a strange one we have too, but that's just what it's going to be. Let's go ahead and start this because this is probably quite a long battle. Our main force are deployed a few miles eastwards of this location, guarding the Manassas, Manassas Railroad Junction. The uh, Bull Run River is a natural barrier between our lines and the Union Army on the other side. There's a number of crossings. To protect the flank, the army needs to guard all the river passages. But we don't... we can't because there's really too many. Our force are stretched thin along the river. Uh, we do not have enough sufficient regiment to guard this passage, but we need to be alert if any enemy movements. McDowell may attempt to pass a portion of his army from here. I believe he's going to 
past most of it that's going to come down there. The small hill near Matthew's farm is a good position to create the defensive line in case of enemy threatens our left. Uh, Henry Hill is another strong position for artillery uh, in the area that must be secured. Uh, our reinforcements will come from here. And here we go. General, federal forces have been spotted on the other side of the river and will certainly try to cross it from this section. Take the position of the hill and stop the attempt passing the stone bridge. And uh, pay attention here because uh, they might send forces over there as well. And why, why do we get this information basically twice? Yes, we've already gone over this. We need to defend there, we need to so and so. Delay the Yankee until you receive more reinforcements. Good luck, General. Right, so here we have our uh, brigades. I'm gonna put Kemper up here, and Kemper's gonna march to defend over here. And then Harland is the new one. He's gonna be placed along here, and then Siegfried is gonna be held in reserve. Rosser is gonna be stationed over there. The artillery will be stationed over here, so they can fire and help out if something terrible crosses here, like orcs. Um, and they can also fire across here. Right, let's go ahead and start the battle. So I'm a bit unsure about the timer. What, how You can't really tell what the time is here. Is it minutes? It can't be minutes. It's, it's, no, it's too long to be seconds. So it's just an arbitrary time thing that you sort of got to keep your eye on. Um, this point is already up. Oh yeah, well, let's start my marching camper over here. Actually, we'll march you straight like so to get to this little fenced area. You can hide in the forest as well. Harlan is in there. I could have Siegfried march directly over here. Because right now... I think we're pretty pretty safe here, pretty safe. Because as I recall playing this once before, we're gonna need as many men over here as possible to try to hold this, because this one's really hard to hold. Um, and when I played it the first time, it was an absolute disaster, and I probably shouldn't even have sent the troops forward there. So that went really bad, but now since they have uh, sort of uh, nerfed the enemy a bit, it might become easier. Right, we got two batteries turning up here. Hopefully we can destroy them quite easy, easily. Hopefully they push far enough so my... no, they will not. They will push far, but not far enough for my men to open fire upon them. Place themselves close enough for uh, my artillery to give good fire upon them. Let's go ahead and target the one down there. And hopefully some of it will spill over. Some of the hits will spill over. Hit some of the other regiments here. And, ah, you know, looking, my, looking, having this look like this will make sure that I will see when the enemy turns up here in a completely different way than if I hadn't. We're getting good hits. 40 killed. Um, 40 kills. 1 death. Harland is open to fire. He's suffering casualty that's though due to uh, Union fire and they are losing morale. They aren't really able to uh, do any major damage there, so they they are losing men. So it might be good to have Siegfried just in case. They, after all, have about three thousand men on the other side of the river, plus 
the artillery support. It's obviously it's going to be hard for them to push through over the bridge and into the defenses here. Um, but uh, if they were a bit more uh, aggressive, they probably could. But because clearly they're losing the artillery d duel here, uh, since they're not even targeting our artillery, they're just slowly being whittled down by our fire. At the same time, nothing has turned up over here. This is probably the place where the cavalry could come through, or maybe even up here. Siegfried would maybe do better if he was stationed somewhere along here to defend. Not sure. I can hear something moving. It might just be reinforcements turning up that we can place up here. No, I still want you to target the enemy artillery because they are the ones, once they're gone, the enemy has to assault our position. And when they assault our position, um, they're going to lose a lot m of men and morale and stuff. And that is going to be very useful throughout the battle if these 3,000 men are made more or less incapable of uh, doing any heavy lifting, as it were. Right now we have suffered about 2% casualties as we lost roughly a hundred men. Let's see how the cannon's gonna fire again. They still they want to target that one, but I I will give you the order to target the enemy artillery. And you will follow my damned orders, sir. That's very ah, here we go. Cavalry. Can I tell these guys to? Yes, yeah, so you can tell them to hold fire and drag maybe the scouts in to the fire. We killed 35 of them. They're probably going to keep doing that. Oh, look at that! The enemy is moving. No, I don't. I still want you to fire at the enemy cannons, you morons. Cannons are gone. Fire at them, those guns then. Right. We have... Who has turned up over here? Some other unit. Move to uh, that location. To uh, safeguard that area for us. Yeah, the enemy seems to be uh, mobilizing to... Uh, Try to attack our position. Siegfried will be mobili mobilized. And he's going to move into this position. Probably try to help them over here. I think we've got some more turned up. we got two batteries. Two brigades. So the two brigades form like so. And the artillery formed on either side of that farmstead. Cavalry had no chance trying to get past Kemper. Harland has lost 100 men and has uh, shot down 63 enemies. Let's see if we can advance a bit here. Start firing on the uh, second New York. Good support here. Keep up trying to break that artillery. We have some John Beauregard. I was going to about to say Johnson. Hampton's brigade and General Beauregard are here to help. Good. Not a lot of cover here, but Sigrid is holding just fine. The enemy artillery is gone. Let's target the unit that's actually fighting with us, which is the second New York. I have the artillery blast them. Where's Hampton's Legion then? There they are. I 
march up to this hair position which we intend to hold for as long as we can but we're gonna, probably going to have to fall back so still these guys have not been able to inflict more casualties than they've taken but if, if this keeps going we might just be able to do that Siegfried is doing a lot better, but that's because he is not being fired upon. The second York is moving away, so they're targeting first Ohio. I believe that Porter's Brigade and support units are approaching. They're already here. The artillery has not even been able... Oh, the skirmish is there. Away with you, artillery. Uh, isn't there a defensive position... I think Beauregard is standing in the way to uh yeah we're not gonna have this artillery piece out there when the enemy is that close I want there we go yes take up defensive position here Beauregard Hampton's Legion the supplies they're not gonna be needing the supplies up there Hampton's Legion is probably just going to be able to stop the enemy from advancing over there. Siegfried will move like so because McDowell is over there and is pushing his men through that way. So all we need to do here is just hold for now. There's a lot of big Union brigades turning up here now. Maybe it looks as though they're trying possibly to envelop us. Let's see, can you target the the horsemen instead? Yeah, the damn it, target the horsemen. Uh, this is not gonna go good. Can we pull you back? Yeah, this is not gonna go well. Can we try to pull you back? Men in the town are firing upon the horses. B is about to come under heavy assault here. Let's see which one is it. Fall back. And those legions will march up, and the artillery was go is gonna have to fall back. No, stay. You will stay in town for now. The artillery will, however, try to move away. Beauregard with them. Skirmishers are going after the artillery. Hampton's Legion is coming up hopefully in time to support. This area is safe for now but m a lot more men has turned up. There with the Keys Brigade has turned up. Oh no, you're not in there anymore. Okay, we're, we're completely routing from this region right now. Hampton will hold and we will withdraw to Henry Hill not even sure what we were doing up at the uh, up at uh, this air hill Matthews Hill we did not have enough men to hold that Right, let's have Hamptons move back as well. We don't want to give this position up just yet, but we might want to pull these guys back a bit to have it a bit easier as we uh, pull back across the river. Artillery is inflicting damage. It's inflict almost. If it goes ahead and fire this, we'll be up at inflicting 500 casualties we 
probably lost some points here from um, not being able to hold on to uh, Matthews Hill. But maybe if I had sent Siegfried, we could have hold it for maybe a little longer. But I'm my men, really, we just managed to arrive there as the, uh, the enemy came on. And they came on quite strong, I must say. Look at that. The enemy is now even attacking the bridge. Let's have Camper move in behind. See if the artillery can go ahead and support. Union have secured Stone Bridge. No, they haven't. Push all men over there and push them away. They have not secured the Stone Bridge. They're about... Confederates secure the Stone Bridge. There we go. That's more like it. Setting up along a line like so. March. Those men are losing, they're losing troops quick. Harland is holding, holding well. And this has lost about a thousand men at this point. Look at that guy that's standing over there looking across. Oh, I wish I was back in Washington right now. Drinking and oaring. Not entirely sure why he was a Monty Python character, but that's, uh, that's that. Come on, give these bastards everything. Give them everything. Just push as many bloody bullets into that as possible. Yeah, now they're pulling back. Oh, he was joined by his friends, and there were two idiots over there. Oh, I sent too many men over here. Siegfried, you're gonna have to move immediately because there's something threatening our artillery. Same time, we're holding strong over here. For now, Beauregard, you need to be a bit closer to the actual action. We got two artillery pieces uh, blasting these men, so they should be able to hold. They do not wait. Did I send Harland? No, Harland. You're supposed to hold the uh, supposed to hold the fortification. Siegfried is the one to move. Harland, you're supposed to hold the uh, there, there, oh, there. Keys have lost so many men. There's almost no one left. At the same time, the enemy is coming on real strong over here. Really, really strong. As soon as this one is pushed away, we need to move. Siegfried, I want you to set up over there. Supplies, I want you over there. Look at how many troops they've gathered over here. They're really giving it to Hamptons. Yeah, they gave what they gave way. They had lost too many men. But these guys, just, they are, they're starting to move. Come on, Keys, just give it up already. Okay, I'm gonna pull back my artillery at this point. I'm gonna pull back our supplies as well. Yes, they are moved away. No, Harland, you will scrap. Harland will stay. But Kemper will go. And Siegfried will go. Okay, they're lined up there. Okay, we need to go. We need to go. We need to leave our position. It's a shame that I cannot hold on to it. I would have only been able to hold on to it for a little bit longer. 
if we might have done it, but no. Hampton, can you move up a bit? These guys are having trouble with ammo. They're pushing a lot of shot into B, but B being in the forest, being a busy bee in there, is doing just fine. Harlan was pushed away. Withdraw to Henry Hill. We held the stone bridge, but just as narrowly as you possibly could get. General, it seems the enemy outnumber us. We must retreat and reorganize our force. Uh, Henry Hill is a good place for our defensive line. We've got uh, General Jackson with fresh troops coming in. Uh, stop the enemy offensive. Do not lose the hill or our flanks will collapse and we'll have nowhere to withdraw but Richmond. Right. I want Jackson. There, there it is, 27th VA. I want all of you to move there and boom, back into action. The Union is throwing forwards everyone towards B. Siegfried, you need to move there immediately. Harland and Kemper will move to stop anyone moving across and Jebediah Longtree will fall back. Look at all the Union troops coming through here. That's over 6,000 men attacking B right now. 6,000. But they're having a hard time getting over the river which uh, will help us greatly and Siegfried will have time to get there now Kemper is exhausted given the fact that he's fought a melee action for so long Burnside is pulling back good Kemper is falling back Harland is the one that's gonna have to uh, stop the enemy advancing into our flank and then um, Kemper is gonna come back I believe uh, hopefully quite soon Ross you'll set up there supply supply supplies good we pushed back their attack that was just too difficult terrain for them to move through uh, which saved us this day Kemper seemed to be able to reorganize his brigade, although he's not the one in charge of it. We've got more men turning up, I believe. We've got Stuart. I did see some supplies. It would be nice to capture that. It's just moving over here, and all of this is so disorganized. But I want to see what's going on over there. So we'll move them over there. We've got more supplies coming in. We've got artillery. 33rd will move here towards the forest. Kemper is going to have to stand. 27th is going to move over there. 4th is going to move over there. Uh, the two artilleries are going to move one over there. And you are going to move over there because we're going to need a lot of artillery over here. 5th um, in town. 2nd over there supplies yes I believe I'll set everything up yeah I couldn't move camper back just yet we're gonna move Holland back a bit so he gets into the cover there of the forest and let's see you're not gonna run but you're gonna fall back and then you and Kemper on the fourth gonna set up like so it's gonna set up there the artillery is gonna be just right here 33rd and 27th gonna be here that artillery is gonna set up over there oh look at that Porter has turned up over there the fifth and the second VA will deal with him Stuart was the one to spot him. The 
Stuart is going to move around all of this. This supply is going to be stationed there to supply that area. Ross is going to be supplying over there. And this supply is going to be over here. Let's reorganize these two. 